Good day, Grade Tens. Today we're going to be looking at physical change and what exactly it means. Firstly, there is a change in the physical properties such as volume, in other words, how much space it takes up, density, in other words, how dense it is, how much mass per unit volume, the temperature is a physical change, conductivity, does it conduct heat or electricity better or worse than before? That is a physical change. Now, when we're talking about bonds in physical changes, the intramolecular bonds, the bonds within the molecule, are not broken. Only the intermolecular bonds, the bonds between the molecules, may be broken. A typical example of a physical change is a phase change. So if you look at this picture, it's pretty easy to you to understand that. First of all, we've got the water. Let me just change this to a pen. We've got the little water molecules here and they're in ice. So do you see that in the form of ice you've got your little oxygen with your two hydrogens and they are spaced apart because of the fact that they're in a crystal lattice. Now that they're liquid, they've moved in a little bit haphazard, but then again, do you see that they've still got little water molecules? So water molecules have not broken up. Only the bonds that have kept them close together over here, the intermolecular forces and bonds have broken, not the intramolecular forces within the molecule. And in water vapor, again, we've got our little water molecules, but now they are free to zoom around. So a physical change, an example of physical change is phase change. Let's just summarize that. The molecules are separated into water when water evaporates to form water vapor. The water molecules are disordered when ice melts, but there is an energy change, but it's not as large as needed in the chemical changes. The mass, the number of atoms, and the molecules remain the same. So the mass, the number of atoms, and the molecules remain the same. So that is physical change, and you need to know this very well and understand it properly in order to be able to answer questions later. Thank you, grade 10s. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.